Hi, I'm Radu Popescu and in this video I'm going to show you how to launch a CMV or a BAT file. Windows installer cannot launch batch files directly by using installer attached custom actions. However, in advanced installer you can run a CMD or BAT file through a launch file predefined custom action. Since the files cannot be attached to the MSI, they need to be present on the target machine when the custom action runs. This can be done in two ways. Start by creating a new installer project. You can use any type of project, starting with professional. From files and folders page, add your CMD or batch as a new file. Now, from the custom action page, select launch file. This way, the file will be installed by the package and it can be launched after the install execution stage at the resources action group. The custom action should be set as deferred to make sure it can access the installed file. In the case of a 64-bit CMD or BAT file, you can just enable the option Use 64-bit Launcher. The second method is to add our batch file as a temporary file instead. Same as before, create a launch file custom action. In this case, the file is copied on the target machine after the wizard dialog stage, adds resolution, cost finalized standard action, and removed after install execution stage, finish execution, install finalize. Here the custom action can use any execution option. To pass parameters to your bat file, you can add them in the command line field from the custom action properties, something like this. If a property value contains spaces, it must be enclosed in a quotation mark. A custom action that doesn't have a condition will run in every installation process, first time install, uninstall, repair, modification. It is recommended to be very specific when setting the condition to execute the bat. For example, the installation can get broken if the uninstall option is left enabled and the bat is not meant to run on uninstall. Now let's build the project and test our batch file. It should return the values of our set up properties. Manufacturer and product code, product name, and product version. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and also the Advanced Installer blog.